we're over here in California and getting some awesome waves and having an awesome time and basically is non-stop fun. Oh. has given me so much. It's the best, anything best, it is, is my greatest provider. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's it right there. I can't imagine my life without the ocean. I would go absolutely nuts. After that session at that sharky spot, we basically drove back down the coast and next morning woke up. It was bluebird skies, there was no wind, and the surf was pumping. Oh, dude, it's barreling. Oh, dude. Oh, All the way in. Oh my gosh, I was like, watch your car beat that. Dude, you gotta get on it. about, you know, chest to head and a half high on the sets and just absolutely perfect for what I wanted to do. And that was kind of try aerials and try doing some tighter in the hook turns. Everyone is kind of just giving it a go and Kai was doing some pretty insane airs, which was pushing all of us. It's amazing seeing Kai and Cody and all the guys bust stairs and see what's possible in a stand-up board. It really motivates me to try even harder and bring it back to Europe. Some of my best sessions I could possibly remember is when the sun's going down and that's usually when the best waves come in. I was tired, but I felt like I was getting all this energy because I wanted to catch the last good wave. The evening glass off session was magical. It was uh, the gnarliest sunset, the craziest colors. And uh, it was like just being able to surf these good waves with only a handful of really good friends. That's what it's all about. Yeah, with the sun setting, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Everyone was sunburnt and just filled with stoke. And I just remember, you know, being so grateful for what I have and what I'm doing. And, and I think everyone felt the same way. So after all the fun we had here in California, it's time to get back into racing. I'm gonna be focusing on claiming my first racing world title, and it's gonna be exciting. We are here at Turtle Bay on the north shore of Oahu, and it is the final of the Stand Up Paddle Race World Series. Right now I am first for the Race World Series, so if I just have a consistent running over here and I do well, and I will um, be the world champion. This is a big event for everyone. Kai and Connor have been battling out all year. First, second, first, second. We'll see who takes first overall. I know what I need to do, and every time I've ever done well is when I've had fun and gone hard, and it's going to be 13 miles of joy, I suppose. Four, three, two, and one. I pretty much blew it in the beginning. I was second, Connor was in first, and Andrew LaGreco caught up and took over first, and that meant I was third. These guys were like 200 yards, maybe even more in front of me, and I was like, okay, how badly do I want it? You know, I just couldn't see myself getting third. Right before Alanya Kayak, Chun's Reef, I don't know, something just clicked. Wow, Kai just cut that lead in half. 
I picked off Andrew, and then I picked off Connor, and I just tried to make the biggest gap I could. I just decided I'm gonna sprint for every bump I can get. It's just like, no mercy. I wasn't gonna let them beat me. There's no way. I thought he blew it, but oh, I, I guess not. <clears throat> Wait, so what do you have to do now to, to win the whole thing? I think just make the finals. Of the tomorrow's event? Yeah, but I want to win it. Turtle Bay is the absolute perfect sprint racing in and out location. You got surf right in the course area, and the, the surf isn't too gnarly. You, you can still get in and out of it with a race board. It's super exciting. Right before that final heat, I kind of needed to clear my head because I wasn't feeling very good. Like, my stomach was actually kind of hurting me. Getting ready for the start of the race. Everything's on the line on this one. I got to get my head straight. Like, I will never forgive myself if I, if I blow this opportunity. So I have done the calculations, and it's coming down to the wire here. We got Kai and Connor in the finals as usual. If Connor wins, Kai's got to get second. If Kai gets third or worse, then Connor is going to win. I mean, it's going to be a real down to the wire thing. This kind of sounds funny, but like I was sitting at the line, and all of a sudden everything goes quiet, and it looks like an empty field, and there's nobody there. I really, I didn't even know these guys were next to me. I just was like, this is a training run. And I know how hard I've been pushing myself training. I'm gonna do the same for this race. And they're off to that outside door. Look at the sets on the outside. Oh my goodness. I just wanted to sprint as fast as I could and Get ahead and, you know, get out of that mess behind you. Piloting in the lead right now, Connor Bassett is in second. As I went around the buoy, I knew Connor was close. I knew everyone was tight. Look at them. Are you kidding me? I don't know if you guys have seen Kai Lenny in person. He does not look as big as he does right there. Heads up, 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 up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. As I made it outside buoy, I got lucky and caught a wave, and I'm like, okay. I just remember dropping in and staying so focused on making the wave, and all of a sudden hearing just the crowd just be dropped. No idea. Where's Connor? Oh, Connor wow, what happened to Connor? I remember I went around the buoy, started going back out, and I saw Connor, and I really didn't think for a second that I had it sewn up or anything because Connor is capable of coming back. Last lap, brother, last lap! Coming into the last part, I just barely missed out on this little wave that would have taken me across the finish line. And there was the next wave, and three guys were on it, Zane Schweitzer, Casper Steinfeld, and Slater Trout. I was like, okay, this is gonna come down to the battle of the paddle. And I kind of waded back a little bit on the wave. Then everyone just starts sprinting. We're like maybe 50 feet from the buoy, and I just unleashed whatever beast I have. Yes! Oh my God, how's this about to finish? Sandy up, you go, Champion. How do you become world champion in like 10 different sports? Holy crap. We need to make a movie off this guy and show it to all the groms. Show them that dreams come true, right? That was so freaking crazy. Kai needed to win, and he won by that, that much. You know, the top four guys are all in the same wave going to the final buoy. And uh, that was like the most exciting race of stand-up I've ever seen. A big round of applause for the greedy guy, Kai Lenny, trying to win everything. Right, he's our world champion. This week has probably been like the best week of my life. I turned 20 years old and that marked a new stage in my life and I got to surf two days and really feel like I've charged. To finish the week off with a racing world title is just, oh, I can't even explain that. I'm just so disbelief and I feel so good. This was the first time I really felt like I wanted more than one wave out of Jaws. This time, I didn't mind taking a few bombs on the head. 